Hello everyone. I get a request to visit our beautiful water cobra. So let's see if we can get her to take some rats today. I have some rat fuzzies. And this is our female, the male is in shed. And they're getting to be a decent size for the species. It's a different prey for her because she usually eats mice. And She's approaching this cautiously, as you can see. I also removed her favorite height, so that's causing a little bit of confusion for her. And then there's the GoPro in her cage. So this is a different deal, but let's see what happens. So far, she has lost her interest and she's going away. Let's see if we can get her interest back and entice her to feed. For those of you who don't know, this is a Congo water cobra. It's a uh, tenalapid from a Naja genus. They used to be classified under Bollingerina. Uh, they are lake dwellers. And they usually eat fish. This guy, this girl and her mate have been switched to mice a long time ago and her mate also eats rats but this one is finding the scent of the rat a bit foreign I think so I will let me see if I can get her to bite at least. There we go. Oh, she's interested. She just doesn't understand what she's supposed to do with this different taste. Let's see if I can entice her with some mouse aroma. I'm sure she's smelling the mouse on that rat. It's just very foreign to her and she's trying to understand what's going on. You're not getting the whole picture here because I have a one GoPro inside the cage and our line of sight is limited. But I think this is an interesting way to view this. So let's keep watching it. I'm just trying to get her interest. To see. But she's in more of a... Um, I want to get away mood right now. Oh, we have a hood, which is not very common with this species. She is now a little bit disgruntled, to tell you the truth. 
Let's see if more sanding will help. I'll take a mouse, dry it and try to sand it. In the meantime, maybe we can change our angle a little bit because Let's see. Further scenting. She still seems not interested. I think this rat prey trial may not be the best thing for her. And to tell you the truth, she doesn't need to feed every week. She has enough supplies in her. But In the meantime, as you guys are watching her, It's really funny, she smells the mouse and she is somewhat interested, but then the rat smell powers it. In the meantime, I'm spraying her hide box with water because I have some moss inside. Let's change our angle for now. She actually feels a lot more secure with her high box in. So let's see what happens when we put that back. All right, here goes her high box. interesting you don't get to see this all the time she is telescoping or maybe periscoping for the favorite social media term above her tree Again, the mouse scent attracts her, but the red scent repels her. It's really interesting to watch. You know, guys, it's not easy every week. Sometimes you have hurdles with your snakes, 
sometimes they feed and sometimes they don't and there are reasons for it sometimes they're not hungry and sometimes they're not comfortable enough and today looks like this girl didn't want to eat rat and we couldn't entice her to do it and she went underneath her hide box where she feels more secure we'll have other critters to feed today so I'll get back to that and um, I will toss some mouse fuzzies and see if she's interested in those for this week because I don't have adult mice left um, and I'll probably film that part as well so see you guys later all right let's try this with something else here's a fuzzy mouse And you see, it's not only us that have preferences when it comes to food. Animals also have stuff that they register as food and other things that they don't. In fact, a rat to this guy might be like a cardboard box to us. She just doesn't understand that it's food. And this is the similar issue with King Cobras and everybody expects them to eat mice thinking that these snakes should see that as food but the problem is they don't they don't register them as food and if you follow my King Cobra videos where I got my little king to eat mice at first he had no idea that mice was food. Eventually, he got used to the smell and decided to eat them because they he understood that they were food. All right, guys, um, this wasn't the most exciting video, but I think you got to see a nice snake. And let's zoom out to her enclosure. I think she really likes this and she feeds well and everything is fine and I hope you guys enjoyed watching her again and I wish you a great week take care bye